all right guys um welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be demonstrating how to configure remote ipsec vpn um on fortigit and also uh, connect it to forty client ems for the sake of um, using the auto connect always up um feature um so um the first thing is to <coughs> log into the fortigit um with a uh, username address and also we want to join um, the FortiGate force to our AD, um, AD server for the sake of authentication and all that this has already been done so you just have to um, define the parameters here for your AD um, server then um, it's connected so I've already done this before then we define the group so on um, on the user group, um, we are going to create a new group, um, and naming it um, test uh, VPN. Then um, the type will be firewall, and the remote group will be um, from uh, the AD server we just joined. Then we want to use the um, the members of the domain users as um, because that's where most of our users are um, tested. Then right click and select. Um, select the domain add selected then okay then um, press okay now we have a group for our VPN um, users then um, afterwards uh, so now we want to create our VPN um, tunnel then um, <coughs> go straight to VPN then um, we are going to use the IPsec um, wizard um, so we are using the remote access um, access um, tunnel to do that and um, it's client based for the clients we name it test vpn um, we choose our one interface on this page then we use the preset key um, you can give it any just make sure that your preset key cannot be easily guessed and it's well authenticated the user group we use the user group that we defined earlier and selected next um, Local member, we have the uh, look our LAN interface there. Then um, the group, the address um, is the IP address of our LAN interface, which would have been defined on the address um, object, uh, policy and object in the address. So this might not be necessary, but I just wanted to put it. Um, so um, it's one nine two one six eight one dot. You know that's local IP address then we define the client address range this is the ip address that will be assigned to the vpn users so i will define the range um you can give it any ip address uh, the one you like so the, the subnet max will be slash 24 which is 255 255.255.0 then we enable split tunnel and um, allow registration next um, so here we specify these um, features auto connect and um, and the next one so as um, to be able to um, make it um, available but note that um, these features are not free um, starting from for the client um, 6.2 upwards 6.4 you know you have to uh, purchase a license on the for the client EMS for you to be able to use that's why we are deploying for the client ems alongside with fortigate so that these features can be used but ordinarily you can use the free vpn um, um, without this feature so, um, we'll go to policy and um, objects but uh, automatically um, the f uh, policy would have been created for us for our vpn so yeah um, one thing I want to do is that I want to um, also uh, define on the VPN tunnel that we should uh, inherit um, inherit group um, policy, not to define it doing in this tunnel. What this allows us to do is that we can now have multiple groups uh, defined in our policy instead of having just one group there. So going back to our uh, policy we have to edit it and specify uh, the group in the policy um, so under source um, we have our ip address range and also we can add um, users so we we were going to search for the test vpn that we created 
the other time and select it now that that's that yeah now we can add multiple groups here because we've already to um define it so we inherit from group policies which is quite fine and we can set our destination to hold since our destination um interface is the our land interface then every other thing is fine um click um okay so you click okay and and that is fine for that um so we are fine configuring on 40 gates uh, all right so um let's go to our 40 client ems server uh, the first thing is to log into your ems um, server and uh, what we want to do now is to um, define um, the endpoint profile and the policies for our users and also so that they can connect to fourth client ems from their fourth client um, agent so, so clicking on the endpoint you can see all endpoints in our domain so these are the list of um, clients and on systems that have been imported from our domain so uh, we want to define the endpoint profile for our vpn users so what we we'll do is just add and um the f and also would um the profile name will be vpn all other features of the 40 clients will be disabled because we don't want that um for now we just want to deconfigure our vpn um uh, feature so here uh, it says should we allow personal vpn um i would advise we disable it so that um all configurations can be managed um from from the ems you know the ems will serve as a central configuration for all, all of them so nobody will be able to uh, um configure vpn on their side we allow that that one then um show connection progress yes um also we um we disable the ssl vpn because we are using ipsec uh, vpn we can we should also um enable it when the connection fails should beep we don't want to use smart card as certificate then now we we'll, would we'll, um add the tunnel manually give it a name um test vpn then um then um impute the remote gateway which is the ip address of your one interface then the decreased uh, key that was also defined on the 40 gate when we we're configuring the um vpn tunnel then can you leave that add tunnel we leave every other settings um to default settings then we go to advanced settings to so on advanced settings we don't want certificate prompting we disable it and um we want to save usernames for the sake of auto connect and all that then here we have to enable all these features then um after that is done um just add the tunnel add tunnel then save save it So um, the next thing for us is the want to define our policies. So here yeah, we can either use the default uh, policy and specify the profile there, or define a new policy and specify the groups we want to. So for now, let's first edit the default. So under here, yeah, under the profile would come there and um, in the uh, under profile just click it and select the VPN so that means by default um, all our users will use the VPN policy but if you want to define to specific group you can ask add a custom policy then VPN um, just test VPN then um, go to the endpoint groups edit then you can now specify um, the group of users that uh, that can as I use this uh, profile that we just defined you can use any of the groups so far the users are there you can if have maybe specify it on your OU in your domain and all that so I'll just select computers and select one other um, all, all groups 
that I believe my users are in. So they can always use the policy. Then um, define, I don't need anything here. So in the profile, you use the VPN profile, then save. So we have it uh, applied in the policy. The next thing we want to do is to um, go to um, the user system that Forte Client has been installed already on. So we want to connect our Forte Client EMS with the Forte Client um, agent that has been installed. So we input the IP address of our Forte Client EMS um, here and we connect. So when we connect, um, Forte Client is going to get um, download the the policies uh, from from the fourth client EMS that is meant to be used. You see, this has been downloaded and uh, retrieved. Then we can see that our remote access um, VPN um, test has been um, has been transferred, and you can see corporate VPNs. So we can't um, set up a private VPN yet, just as configured on the fourth client EMS. So we have a corporate VPNs. Uh, that is managed by the Forte Client EMS, and also the auto um, connect always up has mm -hmm. also be defined. So now I'm going to switch to my personal hotspot to test um, the the VPN we just um, created. So I enter my domain name, um, user domain name, then um, enter the password. So click um, connect. So it's connecting. Um, now you can see the progress um, of the Forte Client um, VPN, and now it's connected. Now um, so. Now um, I, I can I want to access my forty gates uh, over the VPN, uh, so I can easily access it now over the VPN since I'm connected. Now, now it's accessible. So the next thing I want to do is to disconnect from my hotspot and connect back and see if the auto connect will work without having to manually connect forty clients um, the VPN again. So I've disconnected. You see, it will tell me that uh, it's done. Can you see it's disconnected? So uh, into it. now it's disconnected. You can see that the connector is done. Now let me connect back to my hotspot. Um, you'd see whether it would come up automatically. So the, it's connected and uh, it comes up automatically. So um, that's this. That's the aim of this uh, session. Thank you for staying true. Kindly subscribe.